what is what is Craig's persona and your experience for, kind of behind the scenes? I think he's like looking at this from a fan's perspective. Mm. He's the world's biggest troll. Yeah. Right? Like at, he, <laughs> there is no troll more efficient than Craig Jones. It yes. is phenomenal to watch him just knowingly get under people's skin, ruffle feathers and do it in a cheeky, like incredible way. Yeah. But I imagine, you know, you look at the card that he put together, obviously you're, it's tough because you're pulling people over from ADCC. So that's going to be a challenge in and of itself. But you look at the card, the card was great. You look at uh, representing Australian grapplers, making sure that, that they got a place in this, but not doing it in a way that's like, oh, you just put your whole squad on because you're from Australia, right? So yeah. that would suggest to me that behind the scenes, there's, there's a person there that's like very intelligent. They know exactly what they're doing. Obviously business minded, because whether he's putting up the money or someone else, you still got to pull that off. Mm -hmm. And that's a big risk to yeah. put this kind of money behind a grappling tournament, to restructure the format, to bring in the judges and like do all this thing. And then also drop that on the same exact weekend yeah. that the biggest tournament in grappling history is going on. Yeah. Uh, can you speak a little bit to like maybe the two different sides of, of him as a representation of, of grappling from Australia? Yeah. So, so we came up around the same time. We were in the same weight class, same division. Uh, competed once or twice and we're on the circuit together so i saw that side of craig you know back then and then what we have now and i'm not going to pretend that me and him are uh, our best buddies on the phone now he's a superstar you know like he he's he's always been super respectful with me uh with people close to me i'm very good friends with his brother adam uh they run an amazing show out here uh i don't think craig gets enough credit for how smart he actually is you know what i mean he's he's got this persona that he is a, a big troll and a jokester but his intelligence level when it comes to jiu-jitsu is extremely high. And I think his ability to network and connect with people that know more than him and listen is extremely good too. You know, I strongly believe when, you know, I was around him a bit earlier in his career, if he didn't know something, he was asking and figuring it out, you know, and that's why he went to Absolute and, and sought out Lachlan Giles and Kit Dale and stuff because he wanted to get better. And I think he has that same mentality when it comes to business and marketing and whatnot. Some of the guys around him, that he has that, you know, uh, uh, sponsoring and whatnot. These are, are multi-million dollar uh, companies in themselves, you know what I mean, that are entrepreneurs, right. you know, they're not like uh, investment firms that are just throwing money at him. Like these are guys he's bringing up with him and right. they're collabing and that's a difficult uh, thing to navigate as well, you know what I mean, because it's a, it's a big risk for everybody. So I don't feel he gets the credit he deserves in that regard. I don't think he cares, you know what I mean? I don't think he cares yeah. whether he does get the credit or not. Um, I think he enjoys what he does. I think he's he's done something amazing for the sport. I'm not going to get into you know the 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 rivalry thing. That's I think you know we've been jiu-jitsu long enough. Everybody probably has a rival somewhere that they don't get along with. Totally. You know, so totally. he's he's just happens to to be on a, a public platform and, and very uh, public to everybody. But in terms of just like what he's doing and how he's doing it, um, you know, he's he's still you know I still think he's one of the best we've ever had and. Uh, very grateful that he still he still gives back to the Australian community. By the way, you know, we have a show over here, M16. His brother and another guy, Miles, run it. 